follow you here. Positive. I think she wanted an early night. I'm sorry, Mr McCormack. I didn't mean to suspect something, but I just had to put my mind at ease. And as usual, I've gone and got myself into trouble. Ah, you're not in trouble, lass. Mind you, if any of this gets back to Ethel, God, it'll need more than bloody spirits to save your soul, I'm telling you. No, don't worry, I'm only kidding, and I. Ethel's a country lass. She just don't understand anything that's outside her head, you know. Me, I'm a bit more open, and Daniel here even more so. So, why won't you tell her about your involvement with the Gargorans? Well, she wouldn't understand, would she? I mean, the Gargorans is only a name for us. Jeff started it all when we all... Well, he got us all together when we witnessed the first arrival. What was that? Well, I suppose it was about 30 years ago now, when the spirits first came down, and, well, we sort of started experimenting, trying to communicate with them. And that's what the ceremonies are. They sort of, well, respond to us. Puzzling, Liz. Puzzling. Stop the puzzling business, Steve. Let's get out of here while we've got the chance. Uh, um, and leave that small defenceless boy behind. Think on, Lizzie Brown. Okay, where do we start? Hang on. Shh. Listen. Excuse me, young man, but do you realise you're trespassing when they say property? Am I? Who said so? I do, boyo! Do you realise we've spent the last hour looking for you? We've both got these suckers and you're in a lot of trouble, so come on! Come on! Right. Over there is amateur detective Downey. I want you to go to him and he'll know what to do with you. But? No buts, young man. Come on. Steve, we're going. I know. I'm just going to hang back in the case for a short while to check there's no one else here before it closes. You'll have to think of a better excuse than that, brother, dear. That's I guess his curiosity's got the better of him. Ah, there you are. Now, what were you told? You know there's no access to the caves until the matter's been cleared up. I know. Look, there are other parties to blame here. Smith and the Tollmaster have already been cautioned. And you, Miss Brown, you should know better than to enter restricted areas without prime permission. How did you know my name? Is everything all right, Officer Tassfield? Um, where's your partner gone? Uh, what? Oh, um, he's gone to send a telegram back to the station. Who was that chap? He looked familiar. Oh, yes, the, uh, the new chappy, yes. Uh, well, seeing as he's the newest guy here, he, he, he seemed to think he was in charge. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't trust him, though. You look tired. I've bought some tea and crumpets. Would you like to sit down? With no one controlling the demons on the earth, they began taking back tortured souls and damaged minds to their netherworld. The first was a dear friend of mine, Anthony Gargo. Hence why we started the Gargarons, to control the demons. But as more arrive on earth, our control is weakening. And that's when the murders started. So your worshipping actually keeps these things at bay? Can you instruct them to do things? Not quite. We can access the creature's minds and relieve it of tensions in the mind. In effect, relaxing it. Right. My husband and my sister-in-law are near the caves. Are they in any danger? But you must act fast, Emma. As ceremony time draws nearer, the creature defies our power more. Thank you for your help. I'll be in contact, Jim. Good luck, Emma. You're going to need it. Excuse me, sir. Hello, sir. I was just going to thank you for helping me earlier. Yes, can I help you? All I wanted to say was thank you for helping me earlier. I did get lost, but I won't tell my mother about that bit. 
I don't know what would happen to me if I stayed in there any longer. No, you don't, do you? Lucky for you is what we did was all part of the service, laid down by Her Majesty. Do you want to be a police officer? Oh, me? Yes, please. Will you show me what to do? Certainly. Well, first, what you'll need is a hat. Now there. Perfect fit. And next, you need to, um, get a deal with the unexpected attacks. Over here! Am I glad to see you? I've got some weird news, Lizzie. Steve would be interested in this. Well, first things first, Emma. This is James Downey. He's a, an amateur detective. Great. But do you know about the Gargorans? I think you should stay away from them, Emma. Well, despite what you may think, they're very nice people. They told me that 30 years ago, something landed here near the caves. Yes, that's right. What, like a small meteorite or something? Yes, that's what I was thinking. Well, whatever it was, brought some kind of alien that's going around killing people. Look, where's Steve? He should be listening to well, this. Well, if you let me get a word in edgeways, Emma, I tell you that Steve is still down in the caves. I, you I'm going to get him! the murder for their own selfish needs. Exactly, we don't. What I think we should do 